Hi, we're headed over to the beach today. <laughs> it's actually a really nice day. It's quite mild. Um, it's a little bit of cloud in the sky, but it's not too bad. And we're just gonna stop by a beach called Tasha. So Tasha Beach is actually quite close to Mira. And, and we've already done a video of uh, Mira Beach. Except it's probably a little bit quieter, a little less uh, touristy than Mira, but it's still quite popular at the right time of year. So we're going there in a good time just before it gets really busy. So here we go. Okay, we're actually getting close to the beach area now, past the village. And suddenly it's cloudy, of course. <laughs> it's going to be two or three days of cloudiness, I think, this coming week. Um, <clears throat> but it's warm. No, it's not cold or anything. It actually gets quite hot when the sun comes out. So this is the beach area. And it's not very interesting yet. There's like a little, what is that? A kind of a... Uh, picnic area over there. Some of these are vacation rentals, these apartments and things. As you can see, it's not as uh, crowded as um, Mira. Not as built up anyway, but it's kind of getting there, unfortunately. Oh, it looks like we got some police ahead on horses. I don't know what's going on. Let's see. Action, huh? <laughs> okay, they're telling us to go by, so I don't know why they're patrolling the beach. I mean, is there crime here or something? Probably not much. You can see it's a little more quaint. Um, some of these buildings here, they're not old. Most of them are, you know, not really very old or anything, but they did kind of make them a little more quaint looking than the Mira, I find. Hi, Bob. Want to be in the video? <laughs> okay, so here we are in the beach area. And the police are wandering around on horseback, keeping an eye on the traffic stuff. sort of repainted and stuff. Some of them are just modern, made to look old style, which is kind of nice. But I actually prefer this beach to Mira, to be honest, because it's less spoiled. Except when you see stuff like this, don't ask me what that's all about, but <laughs> anyway, whatever. See those stripy buildings over there? Those are the those tend to be the traditional uh, colors of the fishermen cottages in the old days. This looks kind of deserted really, doesn't it? There's actually a few people around, but it's not really beach weather today. We thought it was, but it isn't. <laughs> There's a cafe restaurant over there, a little more activity. So. or restaurant type of place. Sitting, you know, on the beach, in the sun, sunbathing. There's another restaurant, cafe type place across the street. There's a squid on the side of that building where those people are going in. <laughs> Modern art. Anyway, this is just kind of... Oh, there's a police office down here too. So I don't know what that building is. 
there's some kind of government thing, police office. It's more cafe restaurants. It's a little sort of cake place. What is that? Oh, it's a bakery. It yeah, sells cakes and things. More little touristy kind of apartments and things there. It's a mini market or supermarket. We're looking for the toilets, uh, which shouldn't be a problem. shouldn't be difficult to find toilets on a beach area, but alas, uh, it's not that straightforward unless you know the area already. So if you're coming for the first time, it may not be easy to find toilets. <laughs> There's probably some way up top there in the main area, but I couldn't see them. There's some more kind of rental places here. A lot more tastefully done, I guess. I mean, to be honest, to me, I think there should only be campsites on beach areas rather than permanent buildings or cabins or things like that, but whatever. Some of these people probably live here full time. So there is that. It does look like some people are here permanently. Ah, down this road. And finally we find open toilets. <laughs> you have to walk way down the hill. <laughs> so if you want to find the toilets they are over here in these buildings behind me. Just cross here and then I'll film the thing. The area. Okay, so you come down the steps from that road at the top which is that beach area and then you will eventually find them. But I'm sure there must be some up there and if not you could always go in a restaurant or cafe or something. So anyway it's kind of a bizarre artsy kind of thing here, stairway leading up to the main road along the beach. And up the stairs you come to this. More houses. Gives you a little bit of an overview. down a bit now too going up back up to that area where we came down from the main road all right
right. Lovely. Very refreshing. I love walking on the beach. Probably one of the reasons why the police are, are here more than usual is because there have been a lot of reckless people swimming, you know, in unsafe waters here. Well, not just here, but all over the beaches, the ocean areas of Portugal, the coastal areas. And um, so there have been a lot of drownings, apparently, recently. So I expect they're just keeping a watch out for, you know, for people getting too close to the ocean or something. I don't know. I'm not sure what they're doing, but they are here for a reason, I guess. So, which is good because people are pretty foolish and they don't realize how powerful the Atlantic Ocean is. I mean, this is not swimming um, seaside water, you know. This is a wild Atlantic. You have to respect it. Uh, you do get some good surfing areas, but you have to know what you're doing, you know? Otherwise there are currents and stuff that can just pull you under and that's it. The ocean's very powerful. So, when there aren't any lifeguards around, it's probably a good idea not to go in. You know, that's what I think. We're going to go and grab some um, some chips if we can find them in the place where we often go when we come here. Let's see if they're even open. Other European inspired type of coffee shop which I like. You know, with the sofas and a more relaxed atmosphere. Soft chairs. This looks like some kind of another kind of bar, cafe bar type of place. I'm not sure what it's called. Oh there it is, the poor Yolo. Okay, the flea. It's called the flea something. Cute little houses there. Probably also tourist rental places. You can see a caravan there, so that's probably what it is. Anyway, this is the place where we sometimes come to get our fries, you know, because we don't eat meat. So that's about the only thing we get, or some rice or something. But it's closed. It is closed. I guess it only opens. Maybe it only summer. opens at certain times of the day on the weekends, or maybe not on the weekends. I don't know. It doesn't say anything. Another little street here, close to the beach area. Not as uh, not as cute as the other ones we've seen. It's still a lot more quiet though, isn't it, than um, Mira and then Aveiro. I mean, that was just, God, that was a concrete jungle by the uh, coastal areas. At least this, um, there's actually quite a small area, built up area here. And then it's just surrounded by pine forests and stuff. Commercial pines. There you go. What's that? up here. Not nothing really interesting. Someone's created a cute little garden area there. Nice. This looks like it's a little bit bad perhaps. we've come back downhill again so it's not really to me it's not very interesting and this road goes back up to the beach area doesn't it Above.
again, I'm not sure because I find that uh, some of these Portuguese businesses, I'm not always sure exactly what they are. Oh yeah, great food. Okay, you find out once you see that sign over there. It says great food on the end, I mean at the bottom. Nice music, good vibes, okay. Let's see. Traditional food, natural juices, tapas bar, soul food, food bar. Okay. And surf lesson. Oh, there you go. And I did want to mention too that um, away from this beach area there are actually uh, some hiking trails and um, possibly camping, but I'm not exactly sure where. But anyway, there's various places to explore around here. If you like hiking, you know, you can just go quite a long way. So it's just a lovely area if you like nature and quiet beaches. These are the cabins for rent for the... Uh, tourists and I believe there's also camping there's a campsite here somewhere a little bit further down yeah I think I see a sign for it just over here to the right yep so it's it's actually in here to the right So it's good to see we have options. Well, that was a nice time walking around the Tosha Beach area. And um, it's a very windy day. So, you know, there's quite a lot of noise from the wind when making the video. But it's a really nice beach because it's not as crowded as many of the other ones and uh it's not as built up like i said and it's surrounded by the you know the the forests and so on sand dunes so it doesn't feel like you walked into this you know big sort of coastal city like figueira de Foz, for example which isn't too far from here it's further south along the coast and um it just feels nicer i mean you just feel closer to nature here or something and it has some nice little houses, little cabins and things that you can rent. And uh, apparently it's a really good place for finding seashells, especially if you come early in the morning. That's when you get the best seashells if you walk along, along the beach. So there you go. It's actually a lovely place and uh, well worth visiting, I think. It's kind of a hidden gem. Bye, till next time.